Sue Pichu. Hello, my beautiful donuts. <laughs> this is Sue Pichu. And yeah, this is my face. <laughs> so for this video, I wanted to definitely draw Chanmina. She is an awesome, badass rapper slash singer. J-pop idol. She's not an idol. She's she's my idol. She's my idol. <laughs> she's pretty much an idol. But not in that sense. <laughs> She is my idol, like my style icon. You, you just chill and check out her Instagram. It is so cool. It's got, she's just so cool. Like she dresses up in such an amazing way, which I aspire to be. I just thought like I, I wanted to do a drawing of her so badly. Like I, I know I did like a couple, like I remember I did like a sad sketch of her in pen. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? I'll find you. Guys, guys, that was a concert right there. You need to pay. <laughs> You're lucky you got you got a front row seat to that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tone deaf. Um, I don't think I can find it, but in my sketchbook, <laughs> I. I you, like you know how when you draw you have those back pages that have become useless on one side, so I don't know if I can show this. I like I like stuck. I just just do the faces with like sticky notes on the back of the pages because like I'm like why waste you know the the I am a very um very like non no waste kind of person so I don't believe in wasting so that's why I use everything no matter what okay I fill in everything that's. So a good uh, person does okay when you have a sketchbook just fill in every spot you mainly can or not i just like to because i cause I can't. <laughs> oh god uh uh i'll actually i'll, I'll do a sketchbook tour sometime later because it's like a lot of fun stuff to go to and sad stuff but mostly fun it's mostly fun <laughs> uh where is it i don't know i can't find it Oh, oh, I found it. <laughs> I found it now. <laughs> right here, I drew her. This is a sad sketch of her. And there's like a ballet guy. I don't know who that guy is, but he's also sad. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so this is her. I drew it in pen in one go. That's why the proportions may be off. Drawing in pen without like erasing or anything is a good way to practice, from what I heard. I don't know if it's, it's probably true. I mean, yeah, because it forces you to uh, capture all the details as you draw. So because you can't erase, right? So you're forced to concentrate more. So it's good. Try that tip. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I want. I was want to draw her for a long time. So I did. I paint. I didn't draw her. I paint. I technically painted her. <laughs> and yes, that's it. I, I painted her. I just wanted her to. It's like a fan video, like fan art basically. And I just want her to get the recognition she deserves. She's so amazing. <laughs> Simping hard for her, huh? <laughs> um. Uh, well, uh. Boy, there's no real easy way to say this, but, uh. Look, you're a simp. I'm gonna have to report you back to Guska. Oh, I remember when I first discovered her, one of her songs. It was called Chocolate. Was it chocolate? Is it chocolate? Is it chocolate? Let me, let me, let me check. <laughs> I looked it up. And it's chocolate. <laughs> I was right. So yeah, I found her first song called uh, Chocolate and it was so good. I'm like, she's rap. It was the first time I heard a female Japanese rapper ever. And it was amazing. I was blown away. So then I looked up more of her songs and I actually didn't know. Actually, Ch Doctor is one of her most favorite songs that most people who don't even like know J-pop or anything like that would know. That's her most popular song. And I didn't even know that beforehand. I just found this random song of hers called Chocolate. And then from there, I'm like, huh. 
So Doctor exists and it's more mainstream, I guess you could say, than her other songs. So yeah, that's when I also discovered Doctor and then I'm like, she's she's really good. <laughs> and then I found more and more and I fell in love with her. And
So today I also had like my first art class as well. It was interesting, I guess, <laughs> because like it's not racist. I'm just pointing it out. Is that when I walked in to my art class, um, it's basically like a studio, and it's like the only studio here where I live. Which I'm not saying because that would be bad. <laughs> But yeah, it's the only studio here uh, around me, and basically, uh, I'm the only kid who is. Of my dis ethnicity there, which is Indian, which is brown. Like my yeah, as I walk in there, it's so awkward. I I know I shouldn't feel like that, but then it's just like you just stand out. It's like you're like an orange in a pile of strawberries. It, it's your fruit, so it's okay for you to be there. You're just like everyone else, but then you're different at the same time. Like it doesn't work. <laughs> you still stand out. <laughs> I mean, they were nice. I just talked to one person, which is my art instructor, like the teacher. She was really cool. She was awesome. She had like tattoos everywhere, and they were really pretty. She, I think, I saw one of one of her tattoos was like of a kid riding a sparrow, which is really cool. And I want to ask about it. So yeah. Okay, so this is like a studio. In the middle of it is like a stage where like a live model stands for like figure drawings, and then on the other side. Is where you have the the uh, rest of the kids were who were attending that. And remind you, this is not cheap. So these are like pretty rich kids. Like what? Like two hours of of like going to that studio is seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars or two hours just to like like even like just to sit there and like learn. Like if if you do learn anything in that time, and you can also pay like six hundred for ten classes for a month. <laughs> so these parents, like these kids, are either like hardcore getting going to like an art university or like somewhere like some prestigious prestigious art school, or they're like re uh, they have like really rich parents who are just like you know take my money and don't talk to me ever again. Okay, no, they're not that mean. I bet they're nice parents, <laughs> but still, they really they must be really nice parents. Plus, mine was a free trial lesson, so I didn't have to pay. So don't don't worry, not paying that much for my first time. I was just sat there the entire time listening to her. I wanted to learn about the human anatomy and stuff like that. I can draw faces. Then everything else from there is just gone. It doesn't no. My hands just refuse to function. My brain doesn't work. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing past the head is conceivable or doable for me. <laughs> Sounds so weird. Anyway, yeah. So that's why uh, she was just going through. Um... Oh, here. I got this ginormous sketchbook from her. What she said. What he said. As the intellectual, I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like huge. And then like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. And then we went through and we did these sketches. It 
was really cool. I learned quite a bit, sort of. I, I learned, so that's important. And this is me, the sad one. This is her, the cool one. You can easily tell like who's the uh, more better, like with her flow and lines and stuff like that. Mine is like that sad model you see at those cheap uh, department stores and hers is like that high-end model you see in like those really expensive stores. That's the way I put it. Yes. <laughs> it's She's like, yeah. It's like flowy and stuff like that. Mine is just... Mine. That's all I can say. It's an insult in itself. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Self burn. <laughs> it was cool. Um, it just felt like a bit isolated because like I mentioned before, it's like I'm the only person like me there and in this uh, and um it just felt like out of place but and i just suck because like like the other kids on the other side were doing like a class where they were learning how to storyboard and where they were watching a movie i think they were watching either joker princess bride or star wars i don't know how <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know why i think it's so because i don't know from from eavesdropping from the other side of the room i just heard those three movie names so i'm presuming and I, and for star wars i heard the opening of the song like the star wars theme music in the beginning so based on my hearing and listening from the sounds and words they have said i believe it's one of those three movies <laughs> so yeah and they were all sitting on the other side and i wanted so and Keep in mind, I've not interacted with someone my age in a very long time because of Corona. I must socialize. I'm a very extroverted person. I must meet people and it just makes me feel so nice just talking to someone my age. Don't get me wrong, my family is great. I love talking to them. But sometimes I don't want to talk to them. I want to talk to other people as well. <laughs> so yeah, I just like, I can talk to me. <laughs> I'm like, we have to like, and these are all like the dirty art kids who are like legit into anime and all the same shows. I saw, I literally saw a girl walk in, like walk past me with a tack on Titan shirt. I'm like, I know that too. Let's be friends. Like, like, it's like, you have a nose. I have a nose. We have so much in common. Let's be friends. <laughs> like, ah, <ugh. laughs> it's just so frustrating because like they're and they're all like almost my age group as well. So, <sighs> why? But it was okay. I'm here. I'm there to learn, not socialize, because that's a lot of money to socialize for. <laughs> I am going to be paying for this classes. If we do continue. So yeah, it was good. She she was teaching me and everything. What really sucked is that the live model who was uh, my class I went to was a figure drawing class. I'm supposed to have a live model, but the live model got sick, and obviously you don't want someone sick there. You know, Corona can't can't afford that. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just had to settle with like a lesson she taught from like a textbook, and she just told me what to do from the textbook. It was fun. I enjoyed. I I learned. <laughs> So yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just had to tell you just mini experience of my first time attending a class in a studio. It was fun. I'm so sorry for putting you through that mini episode of my life, which is of no relevation <laughs> to anything, <laughs> really. Uh, yeah, so I just thought it'd be fun to share. Just a fun ex a nerve wracking yet intellect yet educational slash fun experience that I had. Just thought it'd be fun to share. So I did. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the rambling. As I said, I do not work well without a script. And even if I do have a script, I don't know how well I've written it. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this to myself? Uh, yeah, I will definitely script this next time or not. If I'm, depends, depends on how lazy I am. Because if I'm not lazy, I would probably script it. If I am lazy, you know, now you know, just told you. I know which one I've scripted and which one I've not. And if you can't tell, <laughs> I have no expectations of myself, so probably couldn't tell. <laughs> Ouch. God, why do I do this? I really, I feel like if you can insult yourself, you can, like, I don't know. Is it really that good of a thing to insult yourself? But I feel like if you can insult yourself, then other things that hurtful people will say will still hurt you. But just know that you are your worst enemy, so. Only you can hurt yourself the most. <laughs> Never forget that. <laughs> but don't, no, don't, don't do that. Always tell yourself positive things because 
just as much as you can hurt yourself, you can love yourself the most. And you loving yourself is the most important thing ever. And as Chamina, badass she is, she's all about confidence and self-love and just, you know, like doing what she wants. So let's all, let's all be like Chamina. I can always learn, every day learn from Chamina is to be confident, uh, be super cool, have a really sick sense of fashion. Yeah. <laughs> and love yourself and be confident no matter what i mean today at the art studio i was nervous i admit super nervous even though i was different but you know despite being different you just gotta be you and just relax and you're there to learn and have fun and you're doing what you love and that's the most amazing thing and no one can ever take that away from you and in the end of the day nobody cared <laughs> it was just in all in my head and I don't know why I even cared at all. Once I was there, I was like, huh, nobody cares. Cool. <laughs> and and it was a really cool experience at the end of the day. And I'm really happy that I went and didn't let that stop me. Because I feel like it's my first time. So there's definitely going to be more chances for me to meet people there and definitely make friends. I'll you know, let you know if I ever do. But yeah, don't ever let anything stop you even though you're the only one who you feel who you feel that you're different in that situation no just be you and that situation will you know just disappear and then they it's just all in your head so yeah let's uh that's all i have to say and i hope that you could take something away from that and yeah i love you <laughs> Uh, stay dandy, stay fresh, and if the apocalypse happens, good luck.